were horrible. They had a That's very disgusting. Very uh very, uh. very bad aftertaste. Oh, but it wasn't even after you ate it, it was before you ate it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Papa's Toy Shop. I'm Tony, this is my lovely wife, Cece. Uh, she's going to join me for this video. We're going to do a couple of mystery boxes and then we're going to do a pretty good sized um, one of those food boxes. Uh, I don't remember exactly what the name of it is. Uh, Universal Yums. Uh, I don't know much about it. I just I found it online. It looked like it was a new company and figured we'd try it out. So, All right, first off we're going to start with the, uh, the Walking Dead. This is a quarterly box, a supply drop box that they send out. It looks like a, they had a box painted up looking like a rail car. Um, I took this out of the outer box because I wasn't sure, you know, because I've gotten it before and it's just all been one. But they sent the Funko Pop separate in its own sorter, which is really smart because the last one, the Funko Pop got smashed. Everybody's Funko Pop got smashed. And you can't really find one that's not damaged. So anyway, they put it in a separate sorter. I have not opened this yet, so I'm not sure what's in there. So, but all right. Let's open the Walking Dead supply drop box and see what we got. We've got the cheat sheet. Put that to the side. First of all, we have a t-shirt. This is a size 2XL. And there we go. This definitely will not fit me. And it says, do your part in the Commonwealth. Okay, I don't know a lot about it. I don't watch The Walking Dead. I watched it for about four seasons and couldn't get past everything. I just couldn't handle it anymore. So, all right, pretty nice t-shirt. Next we have, it says Walker Bottle Topper. Maybe like a wine bottle or something. Yeah, it looks like it's for a liquor bottle. Or a wine where you put that in there and then you can pour you can pour the alcohol out of the walker's mm -hmm. mouth so huh, that'd be pretty cool if you hit, put this on like a grenadine bottle so you'd be like Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> why do you always look at me like that like I'm crazy maybe you're crazy <laughs> <laughs> all right next we have a empty plastic bag and we have Lucille Crew Socks. Okay, I'm going to guess that these are uh, socks that look like uh, Negan's bat. This bat's named Lucille. So I'm guessing that's what that is. I'm not going to open them up because I'm going to try to sell this stuff. I don't have any use for it. So, and it's a size men's 10, 13. So for uh, big feet. But anyway, got the socks, got a shirt and socks. And looks like we have one more thing in the box. So I went a little skimpy this time. Um, it says the art of the Walking Dead universe on it. And it looks like it's some type of uh, art print. So, huh. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, if you were really into The Walking Dead and wanted to frame that up and hang that on your wall, that's pretty nice. So, put that back in there. Definitely not some, something else I'm not going to keep. The main thing I'm interested in with the, this box, and that's why I usually get it, is for the, uh, for the Funko Pop. Because these are usually very popular. So, let's see what kind of what pop we get this time. And who do we have? Looks like it says Negan on the back. So it is the supply drop. Let me put my glasses on so I can actually see what that says. <laughs> it says Walking Dead supply drop exclusive. Which that's strange. I'll have to actually look at because I have one that looks exactly like this that I got from Funko. It just doesn't have that sticker on it. I mean, are they the same? Is there something different to it? The sticker's I mean, different. I mean, yeah, it's got the sticker. I mean, is that what you're paying for, is the sticker? Maybe. 
But anyway, but at least it's in perfect mint condition, unlike the last box. So, all right. Well, there we go. Got a T-shirt, some socks, um, a bottle topper. The bottle topper is actually pretty cool. He had some. We had liquor sitting around, which I can't drink, so it doesn't really matter. So use it. you can use it. Then you can just go <laughs> have the walker puking into your mouth. <laughs> all right. So try. Let's see. Yeah, bonus poster, Walker bottle topper, Commonwealth t-shirt, and you know, seal socks, so you can kind of see what they look like. It's got the barbed wire around them. And then it's a first to market pop. So basically first to market, all it is is a uh, sticker. You know, it looks exactly like the regular pop. It just has a sticker that it says it's first to market. So. We'll set him back out of the way. So anyway, well, that was disappointing. They, they kind of dropped the ball on this one, so... Oh, well. All right, next, we are going to do a mystery box from Ramble Pops. I believe this was like a, a grail or fail type of box. Supposed to cut away from you. Well, that would make the video more entertaining, now, wouldn't it? That's true. <laughs> take those off. I don't need those. Now, be careful that you don't cut down in. I'm trying. All right. Oh, well. I see you just do it that way. <laughs> All right, and we got a little figurine. Oh, that's uh, that's Vision. That's the uh, like original Vision from back, you know, when the when he first came around. So I think this might be from like the Advent calendar or something. And of course we have Ramble Pops. It's a sticker. They package it very well. well. That's always a plus. You find a lot of these places that they just don't take the time to actually put some packaging on it. I mean, I've had some issues where I've gotten stuff where there's not even bubble wrap in there. So, all right, looks like we have... Protective case. All right, looks like we have Mickey Mouse uh, from the Three Musketeers. It's in a uh, pop protector, which these things are garbage. These are the Ecotech. These things are flimsy. They're horrible. I don't even use them. So anyway... Uh, it's better to not have it, I think. <laughs> anyway, here we go. It's the is this is from the 2021 virtual Funcon that just happened not too long ago, and it is the actual Funcon sticker, not the shared sticker. So, all right, we got that's a pretty good pop. Let's see if we have any value showing on it as of yet. And it shows. For the virtual Funcon sticker, it shows a value of $37. So uh, that's really good. I think the box itself was only $20. So that's a pretty good return. Almost doubled my money on it. And of course, we also have the uh, Vision. Let me see if that shows anything for that. Because I'm pretty sure that's from the Advent calendar. Yeah. That shows them is it from October of 2019. Well, that's made value of three bucks. So basically, I doubled my money there. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool. At least I got a really good pop out of it. Uh, I guess I could look and see if Negan is showing anything, uh, any value with him being uh, so new and the first to market. So yeah, it says the Walking Dead exclusive. exclusive. It shows a value of 10 bucks. That's probably because it's not going to really... Um, picture, you know, um, what I'm trying to say. Show the value. Yeah, and it's differentiate the value between the first to market and the regular. That's what I was trying to say. I, don't know, I lose my words too much. <laughs> All right, we'll set vision back over here too. All right, now comes the fun part. We have our new box. It got a little smashed in shipping, so hopefully things aren't too crushed up on the inside. We'll go ahead and open this thing up and see. Looks like the tape came off of it. 
this shows this is from Turkey. So if we had our reader that could read our information for us, Hannah. And we have a sticker here that says, I had, will that say, I had yum what? I had yum kebabs and turkey. Yum kebabs and turkey. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. I mean, this is a lot. Ooh, I like these. These are those wafer crackers. Turkish cookies. Well, I wonder if it has any Turkish delight in here. Sheet. You can write down the score on it. Huh. Okay. Well, here's lay everything out, and uh, you get to pick first and see what you'd like to try. This is the yum bag. I know. Should save that for last and see if it really <laughs> speaks up to its name. All right. So I'm going to try these peach ring gummy candies. At least everything appears Made with to be real fruit juice. Appears to be in English. So, you would pick something that I'm not going to like. Hey, it's healthy. We should start with the healthy stuff first. Why? <laughs> okay. You've never seen cuter or tastier gummies than these peach rings by Curvon, Turkey's largest soft candy confectioner. Curvon has been creating eye-catching candy since debut in 1994 with sour licorice sticks, vampire teeth gummies, and of course these popular sugar-encrusted succulent peach rings. And Curvon isn't stopping there. They aim to be among the world's top five stop soft candy producers by 2023. So try a ring and let us know. Do you think they're on their way to the top? If so, we might have a plan on, we might have to plan a return trip in 2023. It's not bad, it tastes like peach. Yeah, the, a very strong peach. And, so. And they weren't bad, they are cute. Now we're gonna try Davit, Fin, Fin Dick, Fin Dick. I don't know, it's printed over. Look on the other side. Vindicly? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. These yep. are roasted hazelnut biscuits. Ooh, that sounds good. You I already like learned that turkey produces about 75 They look like yellow wafers. Huh. <laughs> You've already learned that turkey produces about 75% of the world's supply of hazelnuts. While the small coastal city of Ordu is responsible for Those are good. a full one third of that, relying on the crop for a whopping 80% of its economy. No one knows how Ordu comes cornered at the international hazelnut market, but one thing is clear the hazelnuts from these lush hills are among the most delectable in the world. It's no surprise Turkey also created one of the best ways to eat them studded in sweet, buttery biscuits. It doesn't taste like hazelnut. It tastes like a vanilla wafer. <laughs> well, it's not. No, I don't think it tastes quite as a vanilla wafer. The texture is like a vanilla wafer, but I think it does have a hint of um, toastiness to it, like when you toast nuts. But I think it's really good. I like those. I'm definitely going to make sure I snag that for myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> All, All right, right, what we're doing now? We're going to pop out. It's a honey mustard and onion corn and rice mini cake. I am just going to do a prediction on this that it's not going to be good. <laughs> Here's an extra sticky fun fact. Every fall, Turkey produces the second most honey of any country on the planet, I'm not and gonna yet like it. barely any is exported. <laughs> Why? Because domestic demand is sky high. We can't really blame Turks for keeping it. Not only do they have some truly amazing That's varieties. That's not good. But they also know how to put it into delicious use. These rice cakes coated in sweet and spicy honey mustard seasoning will show you what the buzz is about. <laughs> Those were horrible. They had a That's very disgusting. Very uh very, uh. very bad aftertaste. Oh, but it wasn't even after you ate it, it was before you ate it. That's <laughs> before you even stuck it in your mouth oh. you had the aftertaste. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> so bad. Oh. Not that bad. All right, well, let's try this. It says tahini halva. Okay. 
In Turkey, it doesn't get more iconic than halva, an extraordinarily crumbly, good sesame confection locals have been loving since the 11th century. A famous enthusiast as Solomon the Magnificent, the Ottoman Empire's longest reigning sultan, he built like a special chalk. kitchen next to his palace called the Halva Hain. <laughs> Where at least 30 versions of halva were produced, including oh, that's the horrible. version in your box. It turned out not only the Sultan's favorite, but the favorite Oh, I don't know what you want with that flavor. Is. That's horrible. Yes, maybe it's your favorite. So apparently this was a Sultan's favorite flavor. Well, the Sultan was an idiot, because that stuff's <laughs> gross. It really tastes like grass. Why is it so? It had, I don't know what the flavor of that is, but it's disgusting. Oh. It, uh, it has like a, a grassy taste to it. It has a kinetic sand feel to it. Yeah, it's like very... Pick something else and get this taste out of my mouth. Ugh. Very flaky. Let's pick, pick something that might be... Let's might pick egg. something sweet. That tastes like peanuts. This is watermelon bebito. Jelly gum. Oh, it's gum. I guess we can spit it out. Yeah. I can't find it. If it gets the taste out of our mouth. They have the ice cream one in here. Ray gonna like this because it's watermelon. I don't think it's actual gum. Oh wait, it's never just, mind. I found it's it. It's a gummy. Since 1967, this city of Dyer of Art. Yeah, it's not gum. Here has it doesn't taste like watermelon. Annual watermelon and culture festival. Why Dyer of Art here? It has a hint of watermelon, but not very strong. Well, because it's watermelons are the country's biggest and juiciest. Annual attendees flock there to taste them and to check out sculptures carved with watermelon. The watermelon weighing contest and even the watermelon beauty contest. Call us biased, but we think this yum should win. Not only is it succulently sour, these watermelons are just so darn cute. All right, this says tat crack. That's some type of cracker. Mm. This says baharatli cracker. This yum was brought to you by 900,000 Turkish farmers. Well, not literally, but the company behind it, Torku, is made up of just, just a cracker. Many farmers who together cultivate the fertile soil, soils of Anatolia. So it's no exaggeration when we say that each ingredient is straight from the field. It's just kind of a bland cracker. Uh, it tastes to me like a... Remember the, what are those crackers with the chicken on it? Those chicken biscuits? Chicken biscuit? and biscuit? Yeah, that's what uh, it tastes like. It doesn't have that much flavor to it, though. It does to me. All right, next. Okay. I'm going to say these are not going to be good either. Then why are you picking them? Because I want to see your face. So this is a hot paprika corn-flavored nut. They look like corn nuts. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Toasted paprika corn nuts. <laughs> I like corn nuts. Yeah, but I don't know about toasted paprika. These corn nuts take us, right, uh, take us to the Black Sea coast, a mountainous area in northern Turkey known as corn country. Why? While wheat thrives in the rest of the country, it can't grow well in the damp climate and steep rocky coastline. So corn is king. It's eaten in every possible form, from corn soup to corn bread to breakfast and oh, oh, cheese and oh, cornmeal yeah. called mulama. Mul oh, and these paprika toasted, perfectly toasted corn nuts, of course. What are you waiting for when corn country do as the locals do? I actually think they'll taste pretty good. No, nasty. I like those. Very corny. <laughs> like your joke. All right. We're going to do today's snowball. Ugh. Coconut and coffee snowball cake. You're not going to like it. Great. <laughs> coffee. Coconut, too. I actually don't mind coconut and candy. Look into the bottom of a Turkish coffee cup and you'll see something unusual. Tons of powdered beans. Turkish coffee is specially made with unfiltered coffee beans, which are ground into a fine powder and simmered with sugar water in a long-handled pot called a... Has the result is supremely thick, rich, and aromatic coffee. That, that tastes good. Like this yum. 
Jeff says the coffee beans make Turkish coffee special. So do real coffee flakes make this white chocolatey coconut cake supremely rich and decadent. It's actually pretty good. I'm not a coffee fan. It doesn't have a real strong coffee flavor. So. Yeah, I thought it was good. I like it. Yeah. What are those? Um, these are crispy. Tarquili. Taco something. F Sanid Taco Baharat. Some kind of a taco flavored chip. Um hold on. We can't wait for you. I can't find it. Does it taste like a taco? No, but it's weird. <laughs> it has a hint of taco flavor. They're a nice little round Unlike, cracker. It, yeah, it tastes more like a cracker than a chip. It's weird. No, I think that's actually pretty good. Doesn't taste like tacos. They're spice cracker chips. Mm, I think they're pretty good. All right. We'll do mini key turkey kick. These look like going to be some type of cookie. Mm. Can I see it again? Okay. Yeah, it looks like a cookie. Orange and cocoa cookies. January and February are exciting months if you're a farmer on Turkey's Mediterranean mm. coast. That's, That's because good. all the way from Izmir to Haite. It's time to collect the citrus harvest. Nearly 80% of the country's citrus It started getting worse as it went along. <laughs> on the Mediterranean coastline with this mild, moist winter that's perfect for oranges, lemons, It's like lingering in your mouth. So basically each bite Never of had those, uh, sprinkled orange filled tartlets is like tasting Mediterranean sush sunshine. Like those, uh, those chocolate oranges that you get. Kind of tastes like that on a cookie. So, all right, next. Mm. All right, auto. These nuts. Oh, nuts. Those are chickpeas. Yellow chickpeas, roasted and salted. These are probably pretty good. I like chickpeas. You can't walk down a Turkish street without seeing bags of lebwebi, roasted chickpeas, hanging from stall roofs. Just like you can't swing a dead cat without hitting a cashew chicken place or a church in Springfield. I don't get it. <laughs> Roasted in a special oven to make them non-greasy, soft and creamy. These chickpeas are absurdly popular. No. 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 They're like, they just instantly suck the moisture out of your mouth. Yeah. It literally tastes like eating cardboard. That's pretty bad. Yeah. All right. These, I'm pretty sure, are going to be Fig Newtons. That's what they look like. I like Fig Newtons. I do, too. I think the box open. Yeah, it broke open, but it's still sealed. Dates, mouth, Ooh, those chickpeas mouth, are bad. They're like a Fig Newton, but with real dates. Yeah, looks just exactly like a Fig Newton. But they're made with dates. Those are Fig Newtons. I thought Fig Newtons were made with figs. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are good. I definitely like those. All right, let's try this thing. It's a sesame stick. Cor, cor can, sesame bar, sesame brittle bar. Having issues. No. That does not look good at all. <laughs> well, sesame. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that one at all. It's probably not as bad as it um, sticks to every single teeth in my mouth. Alright, we're going to do these. Come on, Dad. It says, 
Gotret. Bitter and pork tacaile. Tacaile. I need something sweet to get the, that taste out of my mouth. That's horrible. Yeah, that tastes like they burnt the burnt it before they put it to into a stick. There are there are another orange and cocoa cream wafers. Yeah, those are good. I like those. Yeah. Better than the other things. Yeah, those are those are better. All right, so we have what? <clears throat> Those look like cheese crackers. Cheese and onion crackers. Oh, okay. I don't know about that. I could like those. I don't. To me, it tastes like a bouillon cube made into a cracker. <laughs> we'll save those for last. Let's do some ice cream. Ice cream it says gum. jelly gummy ice cream. I guess when it says gum, it just means like a gummy. The last ice cream flavored candy we had was terrible. Hopefully this is good. Alright, that's like a gummy. Alright. <clears throat> this is Lush. Mosaic. It's a cocoa cream cookie. Yeah, cocoa cream mosaic cookies. I think these are going to be really good. And I don't know what that's going to be. It smells like coffee. It does smell like coffee. Coffee. I mean, it's in there. You know, I'll just say I'll give it up because I don't like really care for coffee. You have to try it. It definitely tastes the coffee in it, but I like it. I think it's pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Texture's a little off. I don't think weird. so. Those are almond cookies. I know. Butter almond cookies. You like almonds, don't you? Yes, I do. Yeah, but those are good. These are going to be really good. Especially since they come in a fancy box. That I just pour. Is it? Well, maybe. Powdered sugar. That's what makes it fancy. You get a hold of that. I don't have. I cut my fingernails today. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we need a knife. Yeah. Does it have any information about them? Um, it says ingredients: wheat, flour, sugar, hydrogenated palm oil, butter, and almonds. That's it. Made in Turkey. Let me just have part of that one. They're sugar dusted cookies from Turkey. They're traditional. Pretty good. Doesn't say anything about it. They contain. To me, it tastes like a pecan sandy with powdered sugar. Yeah, it does. It says something about the yum bag, and it says, <laughs> what's that? So it's going to be mm -mm, yummy. Yum bag. So what's in the yum bag? We got all kinds of candy. Mellow, mellow. This says it's like some maybe come some kind of taffy or something. Yeah, and this says Toffix Magic on it. So I'll try this one. I'll try this one.
Uh, what the hell is that? Oh my god. Ooh. This just tastes just like taffy. Like a uh, banana a banana flavored taffy. Uh, try the blue one. Just try the blue one. Why do I feel like you're setting me up? <laughs> I don't even know what the flavor was that I just had in my mouth, but that's just... Tastes like that. I'm going to call it Windex. <laughs> I don't, it just, that is some of the it nastiest. Has, it has like a lemon and mint extreme, I don't know. It just, it, it tastes to me like what some cleaning fluids smell like. Yeah, that's not uh, good. Yeah, that was not good at all. So anyway, all right, there we go. That's the video. We're all done with our stuff from Turkey. I'd say pretty much most of it was... It was there, terrible. Was, there was some that were good. There was some stuff that was really good, but I'd have to say most of the stuff. Uh, I'm not in any hurry to go to Turkey anymore. I was so. going to say, if we do go, save the packaging so we know not what not to buy. Exactly. We'll have our little, in our, in our phone, we'll be like, nope, no, don't, don't take that one. <laughs> All right, that one's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I hope you guys have liked the video. If you do, make sure you click that like button down below. That lets me know what, that you guys like the video. It helps me with my... Uh, uh, metrics and everything and uh, if you do like the video I hope I've earned your subscription and you click that little subscribe button and then there's a little bell right next to it that tells you hey there's a new video coming out so uh, you know I think I would rather eat the silica gel the silica packs and have that thing again I would rather eat the chickpeas than eat that again <laughs> that's pretty bad but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys got had a great week so far, and I hope you have a great day.